Hey y'all and welcome to Chaz's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to show you how I create these delicious curry chicken pot pies. So I will be using my pressure cooker to make the curry chicken stew at first. So I have some oil and I'm going to add in my clean chicken thighs. Now these are bone in, but you can use skinless and boneless if you like. So I went ahead and just took off the skin and cleaned them very well. I put that in the pot. Then I'm going to add some freshly cut and clean carrots and potatoes. Now you can use whatever size you like. Since we're making pot pies, I will like all of my vegetables and everything in it bite-sized. Now I'm just adding in some minced onion as well as a couple seasonings that I will have listed down below in the description box. This recipe is pretty simple and easy. So this is really a convenient meal throughout the week. Um, it only takes about 30 minutes. You can add some rice to the side if you like, but since we're making the pot pies, you will see that that doesn't take long. So I give that a quick mix. After that, I'm gonna add in some cream of chicken. I have two cans of the Kimball's cream of chicken. This will give it that creaminess that we all love in our chicken stew, especially for pot pies. You wanna have that creaminess, that little sauce in it as well, because all those potatoes will be soaking up a lot of that sauce. So you wanna make sure you make it extra creamy. So after I finish adding all of that in, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a quick toss. And I'm adding a little bit of accent in there to boost my flavors just to give it a pop. So here we're going to add in some water and chicken broth. And the reason why I'm splitting it half and half because I don't want to have too much sodium, which the chicken broth does have a lot of sodium. You can find, find a low sodium one and you can find a healthier version or you use a vegetable broth. But I prefer just doing half and half and seasoning to my liking with dehydrated vegetables and herbs. So we're going to give that a quick mix. Make sure everything is clean up on the sides, everything incorporated very well. As you can see, it's so creamy. We're going to go ahead and pressure cook this on high for about 25 to 30 minutes. So after it was done, I went ahead and placed it into a pot. The reason being is because I will be taking out some of those chicken thighs and I'm going to shred it, shred the meat and also take out the bone because for the pot pies, you want it boneless. But I prefer using chicken thighs and not chicken breast. Or like, like I said, you can use boneless and skinless chicken thighs to make it easier. But this is my method of what I prefer. The chicken is just so tender, juicy, oh my gosh. Look at that, y'all. You have to try it. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm just going to throw the bones away, place that chicken in a bowl, and then I'm going to place some of that curry stew mix in a bowl. I do have leftovers. I'm only going to be making about two pot pies. If you're making more, then go ahead and do so, but we wanted to leave some to the side so we can have it with some rice for later on. So like I said, I'm just going to add some of that sauce and those vegetables into that uh, curry chicken that we pulled apart earlier, and we're just going to give that a quick little mix. I will be using this pre-made pie crust. It's so easy to bake. My um, oven is preheated on 400, and we're gonna bake this for about 20 to 22 minutes once we fill up our pans. This is the easiest method that I decided to use. So for the bottom layer, you want to make sure you cut around and add some room okay you will have some left out on the sides but trust me this is what you're going to need once you put that filling in and then you add that top layer of the pie crust you're going to realize you're going to have to smash it down with your fingers and then roll it under that rim right there so i added about one and a half scoops of the 
curry chicken stew filling. So here, as you can see, I went ahead and used the rest of that pre-made pie crust we had and just rolling it back out to create that shape that I desire. And then I will be cutting around that, but as you can see, I'm cutting closer to the rim. So now, as you can see, I placed that on the top. I'm just gonna mush the sides down with my fingers. Like I said, my oven is preheated on 400. I'm gonna bake this for about 20 to 22 minutes. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it's okay. I did put some egg wash on it, which created the color that I did get from the outcome. But when I say it was so delicious and good, I didn't even care, it was amazing. <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you decide to recreate this recipe, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chaz's Cuisine Story.